right, Damian Chico is a student who has a .6 GPA and he's one of six kids by, I think, Larice Chico, which is his mother. They don't really have enough money to send all their kids to school, so what all of them did was certain, certain, like, at, uh, how do I say, everybody found their own little, how do I say, like, goal, their own little catch, whatever they liked. Chico was a football player, and it's because of football that he had a chance to go to college sports, and today I'm going to explain to you how sports is beneficial to children today and in the future. Okay. Myron Roll is a, he's a defensive back for the Tennessee Titans, but before he was a defensive back for the Tennessee Titans, he played football for, well anyways, he had a 4.0 GPA and he scored a 1970 on his SAT. Now, he had outrageous grades, he could have went to the NFL, he started as a freshman and played football for, the, uh, for Florida State for four years. And rather than go to the NFL, he decided to go to uh, medical school for another two years. So it made his draft rating go lower. So rather than being drafted first overall, he was drafted in the seventh round, but he chose to get his education. He used football to get to where he needed to be. So now he has a degree in, in the medical field and he's in the league. So once he's done with football, he still has something to lay back on. Like, oh, I can be a doctor, a nurse, whatever he wants to be. And that shows, that's work ethic. Now sports shows, I feel like sports teaches kids how to be hardworking, how to get to where you need to be. and. For instance, my work ethic wasn't anything compared to what it is now. Like back when, before I even played sports, I felt like school wasn't really important. I showed up to school just to just to be there. You know, social friends were there, so why not be there? But football helped me realize, like, I can't play football forever. I mean, as much as I would love to play football forever, I know I can't. And people that do that participate in sports. They all know that they can't play their sport forever, but their sports is what helps them work hard for school. They have something to look forward to. Like, okay, if I get a 4.0 right now, then I have more schools looking at me, and then they get a free scholarship. Not a free scholarship, but they work for it. And they're able to go to school and earn a degree and get whatever they're, whatever they're pursuing. Nine out of 10 students that participate in sports end up getting school paid for. Like, I understand most people work hard, you know what I'm saying, they'll get 4.0 GPAs or 3.8s, but since there's so many people that are getting 3.8s nowadays, the, the, the ratings of you getting accepted to the school that you want to get accepted to is going lower because everybody's working hard to get that. But not everybody can do sports. And that's where football comes in for me. I have a 3.87 right now, and I have the University of South Carolina looking at me, University of Iowa State looking at me, and all those schools that are looking at me ready to play, ready for me to play football for them. But if it wasn't for my sport, I wouldn't even be able to come to school. But it's because of my sport that I even come to school. I use school as like my backup plan, more or less. I love football, but I know I can't play it forever. Now, sports also helps kids overcome adversity. Michael Jerome Orr is a living proof of this. He's one of 12 children from Denise Orr. Now, Michael Orr, he grew up in Memphis, Tennessee, and he came from the bottom. Basically, he had a .6 GPA in high school. Never played football before in his life, and basically he was, how do I say, well, you know what I'm saying? He really didn't care. He had nothing to live for. He was an orphan. His, he, never, he, he never knew his dad. Well, his dad. His dad died when he was young, but he didn't know him. He was one of 12 kids, and all of the other kids that he knew, there was brothers and sisters, really just left. And just left him, you know what I'm saying, to drive by himself. So, him having to grow up by himself and not know anybody or anything, he, you know, like what any other kid would do if he didn't have anything, flunk, you failed. So what he did was he found a family, well a family found him, 
and put them in a home, basically opening up their arms to them. Like, okay, well, here, you can have our family. You're with us now. He started to work hard and go to school. They paid for him to go to school. They also, they taught him life lessons and how to o overcome adversity. Now, Michael Orr, he went to, he went to the University of Mississippi, Ole Miss, the Rebels. Man, that's a good school, but that's where he went on a full scholarship after he started playing football. I and mean, after he played football, he started playing football when he was a junior. And he made all A's his, his junior year and his senior year, thanks to the family that he went with. And he ended up getting a 4.0. And his GPA went from a .6 to a 2.55. Now, that's, that's not the highest GPA, but it's a high GPA from going to .6. So what he did was he used what people were giving him, families, helping him, like, you know, somebody helping him, that's not everybody would be willing to take in a 315-pound, six-foot-five <laughs> left tackle like R.C. Now, he eats a lot, and he, he, he basically overcame everything that was thrown his way. He didn't decide to, you know, fold or anything like that. Now, I got another story for you. My friend Jeff Bonds is a kid of, no, he's a, he's one of six children and he stays in West Covina, California. Now, he didn't have the best of grades either. He had a .2 GPA. <laughs> and their, what, what the teachers did was they made him, basically, they gave him all Ds. So nobody really knew he, was, he wasn't eligible to play football until our junior year. So, like, that's when he started playing varsity. Because you can play sports and not be eligible when you're JV and freshman. But what he did was he had... Schools offering because he was such a great athlete, but he couldn't talk to any of the schools because he had a point two GPA. So what he did was he started working hard, going to school, and now he attends Mount Sac, and he has a, I believe, a two point eight seven GPA, and he's about to go to San Diego State on a full ride. And basically, studies that I, what I've researched, studies show that people who do sports learn more about life like sports helps people to shape up whether it don't got to be exactly sports it can be chess whatever the case may be everybody has something that shapes them up to be the person they are here today but nine out of ten students use sports to shape them into the person they are like it helps them it teaches them things like things that you wouldn't learn if you were just an average student like me for example I did I was I was an average student, but a good athlete. But now I care more about my school rather than football, to be honest with you. I love football to the death of me, but I know that I can't play forever, so I love school more. And I'm using football to get me my degree. So basically, I hope I showed you today that sports is, well, I hope I convinced you, in conclusion, I hope I convinced you that sports is what helps kids do well in school. That's it. All right, Lindsay, what did you think? Okay. Uh, in the beginning of with the um, thesis or something, you said a forum it would be better like I'm to convince you to yeah. because then it almost sounds more like okay, it's gonna be important and that's what leads people to it. Um what do I wanna say first? Okay, I like the idea of uh the person who's going into the medical field, like how it's kind of like saying, okay, football players aren't idiots, like they can be smart too, smart to go into the medical field, that you know, they are hard workers. Um you definitely have better examples this time. Um, the statistics of uh, 9 out of 10 get scholarships, maybe even full rides to universities, that even people like with 3.8s have you know, lower chances nowadays because everybody is you know, trying to get higher grades and not focusing on you know, having more experience outside of the classroom. Um, last time Kirkham said uh, like, to you, like football, because uh, you were talking about how football could uh, do better in your life, and he said make it more like you know sports are better because uh, you could compare it to other sports. This time, I would say maybe like compare sports to different extracurricular activities because uh, you do get scholarships for like music and being in a speech program and stuff like that. So I would have liked to see maybe comparisons to other 
Um,